paralyzed man is able to move again thanks to experimental surgery. Here is 21 year old Chris Boson, who suffers from a cervical spine injury caused by a car accident. Chris was told after the accident that there was a good chance that he would be paralyzed from the neck down for the remainder of his life. It was then he was informed that there was a clinical study that he could sign up for, but it was in the experimental stages. The procedure involved injecting stem cells into his cervical spinal cord. He agreed to go forward with the procedure. The doctors leading the surgical team was Charles Liu, and he said, With this study, we are testing a procedure that may improve neurological function, which could mean the difference between being permanently paralyzed and being able to use one's arms and hands. And wouldn't you know it, two weeks after the surgery, Chris began to show signs of improvement. Three months later, Later, he is now able to feed himself, use his cell phone, and write his name. This is a huge advancement in the medical field. Hey everyone, and welcome back on this beautiful Friday. I'm Court McGinley. As always, we have a lot of cool and interesting stories headed your way, so let's get right into it. Next, another teen has tragically taken her own life on Facebook Live. This is the second teen to commit suicide on Facebook Live in less than a month. This is 14 year old Nakia Bennett from Florida. She took her life by hanging herself in her bathroom at her foster home and she live streamed the whole thing. A friend of hers was watching the live stream which ended around 3.03 am and she called the police. She was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Facebook has since taken down the video because it prohibits content promoting or encouraging suicide or any other type of self injury including self mutilation and eating disorders. And the police department is currently investigating the death. Suicide among teens is becoming more and more common. If you're having suicidal thoughts and you feel like no one you know will understand, then you can always call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Just know you are not alone. Next, Shia LaBeouf gets arrested. For those of you who are like, I'm sorry, who? If you haven't seen Even Stevens, then you might be too young to know of him. But he was also in Indiana Jones and Transformers, so that might help you know who he is. But early on Thursday morning, Shy was in New York City and he was arrested for allegedly assaulting a man by pulling off his scarf and accidentally scratching his face. And this was all during his anti Trump art project called He Will Not Divide Us. Now I know Shy has done some pretty crazy stuff in his time and you should never put your hands on someone. But getting arrested for accidentally scratching someone's face seems a little out there. Plus, it must not have been a bad scratch because the man refused medical attention. Shy was taken into custody and was charged, and he was given a desk appearance ticket, which means he will need to go back to court on a different date to settle all this. Next, at midnight, the much anticipated Taylor Swift and Zayn music video for the song I Don't Want to Live Forever was released. This is a duet for the Fifty Shades Darker movie. The song's amazing, these two sound great together, so people were really excited to see how the music video would turn out. You know, especially since Zayn is dating Gigi Hadid, who just so happens to be Taylor Swift's best friend. So that brought up a lot of questions. I mean, this movie is incredibly sexually charged, so you'd expect the music video to be as well. The music video is just over 4 minutes long, and as of this morning, it had 2 million views on Taylor Swift's Vivo, and 1.2 million on Zayn's. But by now, I know it's probably far surpassed that. This music video is good and the two singers are pretty much separated through the entire thing. No kissing, no body contact. Let me know what you guys think of it, here's a quick peek. Week where I let you guys know what super cool, awesome movies are hitting box office this weekend. And we have Resident Evil The Final Chapter and A Dog's Purpose. Alright, let's start off with Resident Evil. This movie is rated 14A and it's an action horror movie. In this movie, we have Mila Djokovic, Ian Glenn, Ali Larder, Sean Roberts, and Ruby Rose, among others. And Paul W.S. Anderson directed, wrote, and co produced this film. So, as you guys know, this movie is based off a video game series and has become the most successful video game film franchise ever and they're grossing over 1 billion dollars worldwide. So in this movie, Alice is the only survivor of what was meant to be humanity's final stand against the undead. Now she must return to where the nightmare began, the hive in Raccoon City. There the Umbrella Corporation is gathering their forces for a final strike against the only remaining survivors of the apocalypse. And then we have A Dog's Purpose which is rated PG and it's a comedy family movie and it's based off the best selling novel by W. Bruce Cameron. And the trailer for this movie looks so good and it warms your heart. But if you watched our video last Friday, then you know there is a lot of negative backlash surrounding this movie after video footage leaked of the crew members mistreating a German Shepherd stunt dog. PETA even got involved and a lot of people have said that they are going to boycott this movie. So we'll just have to see how the opening weekend sales end up. 
For those of you interested in seeing this movie, this movie is about a surprising story of one devoted dog who finds the meaning of his own existence through the lives of the humans he teaches to laugh and love. And now it's that time of the week where I answer your guys questions, so let's get started. Maximum Gaming asked, what's the first video game you ever played? First of all, let me say your picture is amazing, so funny. And I think the first video game I ever played was Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega. Yeah, either that or Zelda. Duxtado Plays asked, Courtney, what is your favorite movie? The Wizard of Oz for sure, but I also love pretty much all Disney movies as well. In Wednesday's video, Trey Perea said, it's my birthday today, 25. Happy belated birthday, hope you have a wonderful day. All right, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed yet, then please subscribe. You just gotta click on down there and I'll catch you in the next one.